Hey everybody, I am Clever Name here. This is my fourth part of my Forza Motorsports first look series. Um, today we are going to be covering uh, some of the extra content within the Seeker Cup challenge. I've already done uh, a good chunk of the races, and I'm I'm just kind of cut them together, and I'm going to show you guys what I kind of went through um, to complete those. Uh, so you're going to see a couple of weird cuts in here. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, I am still learning how to do this. Uh, on the plus side, I got a new mic. So there's that. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the ATV section first. Yeah, of course you can race ATVs. The Razor by Polaris is a capable side-by-side -side vehicle with enough power to blast through the toughest outdoor... So we only get one side-by-side uh, -side or ATV to uh, to choose from, uh, but uh, we're, race we're racing against uh, the same vehicle, so there's really no difference. Um, we do get to customize our livery, so I'm going to choose this green one, and we're going to add that to our car collection. Nice. Another car for the collection. Good. All right. So once this is done saving, uh, we'll get to the race. So I'm going to show you the uh, the first lap of uh, each of these races. Uh, again, sorry for the weird cuts and, and uh, transitions, but like I said, still still learning. Uh, yeah, we're kind of going through this together. <laughs> so here we go. Looks good. Nice green alien on the side there. The first thing I noticed of this vehicle is uh, the way that it sounds. I've never been in an ATV that sounds anything like this. It sounds like a, a proper racing car. Um, very different to drive, however. <laughs> uh, it's not super fat, I mean, Compared to a race car, it's not super fast. Compared to an ATV, uh, I don't know that I'd be comfortable driving one of these myself. But, uh, pretty entertaining in this game. The one thing that I did have to uh, get used to was uh, the tight turning radius. Um, as you can imagine, the wheelbase on this is quite narrow, so taking some of these turns uh, at speed is uh, a little shaky. But, uh, for the most part, I, uh, I kind of got through it. A little bit of contact. <laughs> Haven't hurt anybody, I guess. Still getting used to my, uh... Yeah, there's, there's a weird cut for you. So hopefully we don't see too many of those. Again. Sorry. <laughs> But that's, that was uh, the first lap. Uh, did not too bad. I came in uh, first in the end. Or, sorry, second in the end. Uh, and moving on to Rio. different views you can get from within the, uh, the cockpit. It's a little bit um, hard to drive in that mode. I prefer the, uh, the third person kind of view. I love this track. By the end of the first race, I like to feel like I've gotten the handle the, uh, kind of got uh, used to the handling of the side-by-side, uh, -side. but uh, at the start of these races, everything is so chaotic. All the cars are tight together, and uh, those are the racers. They, they just don't give a crap. <laughs> they'll, they'll try to run you right off the road if you're in their way. That's the AI in this game. Um, I wonder what it's like in, in multiplayer. 
I just don't imagine anybody's gonna really like racing against me. So should be coming up on the end of the first lap here, right around this corner. Finished off in, I believe, uh, fourth on this lap, uh, but came in first in the end. So, overall, I, I was pretty happy with that run. Um, no real big uh, rack outs in that course. I know this course pretty good. Uh, it's probably the one I'm most comfortable with. Um, so, no, no real drama on that on that run. Got myself uh, another level with that win. With that is going to come another car. I believe that's a BMW. The M6. So I've, I've come to the uh, conclusion that if you are given a car or the option of buying a car, even if it's not free, take it. Um, one thing that I noticed is that as you buy those cars or gifted those cars, I suppose, you increase your car collection um, uh, standings. So you actually level up in that respect so that all of the cars that you are given as prizes actually get better and better and better. So definitely take those. Um, it'd be silly not to. If you're stressed about the 50k uh, coin that you could possibly get, just do some single uh, uh, matches. You'll you'll get that in no time. So this race uh, was kind of fun. This one was done at night time. At first I was a little concerned because uh, it looked like it was going to be pretty dark. But uh, there's, it turns out there's, there's more than enough light there to see. But uh, it is kind of interesting and it does limit uh, the visibility of the track so you you do want to take things slow if you're not familiar with this track. I did have some difficulty with this uh, track. Uh, I had to take a couple of shots at it before I finally um, got a decent run at it. I don't really remember how good I did at the end, but uh, we'll find out right away. That is a tricky turn. I've hit that... Um, bundle of tires a number of times. Uh, one piece of advice is going through that. You have to find the right speed. You don't want to slow down too much and you don't want to go too fast. Uh, if you slow down too much your tires get a little bit too much grip and it actually with that short turning radius sends you off the track. Uh, but if you keep a nice consistent speed, you can actually kind of zig your way through it. So it didn't do too amazing in that one, um, but luckily I kept enough points to stay in second overall. Um, so I'll, I'll have a better chance of uh, coming in first overall uh, after the next couple of races. Once again, got some points, got some cash. And moving on. So this one is a dry track, uh, middle of the day, possibly approaching dusk. Still love the sound of that thing. Cannot complain about the visuals and the uh, the audio of this game. Yeah. My driving, eh? I'll take it or leave it. But everything else is good at least.
gonna watch that pit. Yeah, exactly. I've done that more times than I care to, to mention. So, not a bad first lap. I came in uh, fifth on the first lap, but uh, overall, uh, I did not too bad. I came in uh, second. I could have possibly caught up to, uh, sorry, third? Second. Okay. I could have possibly gotten in first had I not uh, screwed up on a couple of uh, uh, key turns on that last lap. But, uh, eh, it is what it is. I wanted to get through it. Overall, uh, yeah, still stayed in second. So that's a spot on the podium. I'll still get a good payout. I'll get some good XP for Set it. Number three to the podium. Looking good up there and on the track. Thanks, voice guy. So, got some points, got some credits. Um, you do need to do these in a certain order. Um, a somewhat of an order, because you need to gain enough uh, credits in order to do some of the uh, uh, other achievements that have, like, supercars and such. So, uh, the next one on the list for me was the trophy trucks. Now, if you remember from my previous videos, I tried one of these and it didn't go so well. The same holds true with uh, this. This took me a number of tries to uh, to get down. Uh, the My biggest issue with these trophy trucks, as you'll see, is uh, some of the visibility. Um, I don't like driving in first person mode. It's just annoying. Um, but third person view, you you don't always get to see all the turns as they come. So, a little bit of an added challenge there. They do sound amazing, and they slide all over the place. So if you're, if you're a drifter, I think, uh, I think this will be up your alley. So you're gonna you're gonna see me hit a few things. <laughs> it's just gonna happen. I uh, I make no apologies. I uh, you know I'm gonna need like a contact uh, counter somewhere on my screen. If you guys know how to do that, uh, uh, shoot me a message. I do like this track. I, I really want to try this in a uh, in a different car. I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, after my oh god 17th run with this truck, I, I did somewhat get a hang of it. Um, you just can't go too fast. I mean, it, it sounds logical, but when you're driving this thing and it's got so much power, you you just want to go. Got to ease up on the throttle. So we should be coming up pretty close to the lap. Not doing super fantastic. I'm in the sixth place though. Compared to my other runs, this, this is pretty good. And there's the first lap. So, I did manage to uh, eventually get into first. Uh, mostly crashing my way through it, getting a little bit more gutsy with these turns. Uh, kind of kicking out the back end a little bit. Trying to get my braking and my downshifting down. And there it 
is first, so not too shabby. Great driving out there. Come back to the garage and take a breather. No time for a breather. Got more racing to do. Can't stop now. All right, so we are back. Um, so I gotta fess up. I made a goof, and uh, I thought I was recording during the last two races of the Trophy Truck uh, Series race, and uh, I clearly wasn't. Um, I did manage to finish it. Um, I did not make the uh, the podium in that run. I may try that again to. Uh, to recover some of those points that I lost. Uh, I did level up, I got another car, but uh, I did not, uh, I kind of screwed it. But uh, I did get a, a Challenger, or Charger, sorry, a Dodge Charger out of the deal, so not, uh, not too shabby. Um, so that leaves four uh, challenges left. Um, I've already kind of explored the supercar one uh, a little bit. I had several cars to choose from. More than half of them were locked uh, due to progress in the game. Um, so I can only assume that I will get those cars later on and then I can try this again if I want. But uh, I chose out of a uh, Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a Porsche, a Jaguar, and I think that's it that I had. There's possibly one other car. Uh, I chose this Ferrari. Um, it it compared pretty evenly to the rest, um, but it's a, it's a freaking Ferrari, so yeah, I took it. So I. Um, Every time you choose a car or you buy a car, you get to choose uh, a livery for it, uh, or you can choose a number of custom paint jobs, um, uh, just like s solid paint jobs. I chose this livery uh, out of the selection. I like the classic kind of look um, with a little bit of black, uh, black detailing. So, all in all, not too shabby. I, I do enjoy it. All right, here we go, Monza. All of these cars that you see on the track with me are uh, other cars that you could have potentially chosen. Some of them, like that one to my right, uh, are locked. So you'd have to uh, come back and try it again. Try not to make too much contact. Oh my god. Go! What are you doing? Oh my goodness. So I'm way back in 11. If any of you guys watched my um, previous videos, you'll know that this is the track that I had troubles with on the Audi challenge. Uh, so I'm going to be very cautious of some of these turns coming up. Because it is a pain to get back on the course once you're off. As I'm sure you will see. Try and pass this guy. Slow down. Let's shift. This car is a little bit uh, stiff on the steering. Um, I don't mind it. 
It's better than being too loose in my mind, but just something you got to get used to. Every car is going to be different. Left or right? Okay, let's go left. Turns I hate not coming up. I gotta make some progress here because uh, passing opportunities are slim. Not too shabby. I didn't think I was going to do it. I really didn't. But I did. Somehow. <laughs> Definitely wasn't clean, but uh, I'll take it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's move on to the next race here. I like this car. Makes me look good. <laughs> Right, uh, I discovered what mods uh, do for you, and they are helpful, especially uh, in the higher um, paying races. You want to add those on there, because it really, it really bolsters the, the, the payout. It's going to so. get dark out there soon. Be careful around the turns. Thank you, voice guy. So let's, uh, while the track is loading, let's look at some of these. Some of these I got just for buying the game. Some of these I got for winning other events. And uh, you can always buy more of them as well. So I'm leery of some of these because uh, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to waste them. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not going to waste too much time on this, but uh, let's give that one a go. Yeah, I want more money. Uh, perform a perfect turn. Can I do it? Can I do it? I'm not going to do it on this race. Uh, I got a few uses on that one. Let's, let's give that a go. Okay. Oh, Nuremberg. Oh, <laughs> but it's the GP circuit. It's a short track, uh, I believe. No, not exactly short, but... 
Oops. I believe this is the same circuit uh, that I did with the uh, the ATV, and it might have even been at night. Let's see how it goes. Just what got through there without any contact. Oh. oh, you dirty. Watch the uh, the contact because you don't want to uh, damage your headlights in these races. I've done that before in uh, version six, I think. I'm going to go over. That's my chance. Third, okay. This track is definitely a lot more fun in a sports car. Oh boy. <laughs> You're down. Go, 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 go. See if I can catch him in the corners here. Aggressive. that one too much. I don't know if they get penalties for that sort of thing in, in uh, real racing, but probably should. Oh, 
Second's gonna have to do. Oh, don't look at the front end of that car. Just don't. Nothing good will come for that. <laughs> Alright, so here's where we see uh, so a little bit of increase in money and, and XP from these uh, mods. Not bad. Probably should save them for the bigger aces, to be honest. Uh, I might do that. Oh, jeez. That got me uh, this car a lot faster, that's for sure. Huh. There might be something to this. Do you want to buy this car? And it's upgrades for 50 credit? 50,000? Yes, I do. Okay. Wow. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to save the mods for, uh, for later. I think we should save those for the uh, the big uh, cup races. I think that's a wise decision. I can always buy more. this off. Get on this inside. Took that a little bit slow. Took that a little too fast. Oh my god. So many way through that. These turns are deceiving. I have no idea. Should I keep pressing on or let off? Oh my god. Big straight coming up. This is where I'm going to get some positions. Uh, maybe one. Time to pit.
I don't know if I'm going to get out of fourth place. I just don't see it happening. Okay, well, that would have made, had I not screwed up on that shift coming into the home stretch, that could have made the difference between fourth and third. I'm going to lose my top spot, aren't I? No, I didn't. How in the heck did that not take me out of top? Lots of fun. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> My dad is watching. Hi, Daddy. You should come over and play sometime. Wouldn't that be fun? Watching my dad race. It's probably better than I am. cursing here.
Stay on the track. Come on. One of my headlights is out. This is going to be harder to see. Gonna have to rely on my map to give me a heads up now. Really focused right here. Oh god, no I'm not. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and somehow I got a spot. <clears throat> I should have just kept my mouth shut. I was doing okay there. I, I could have maybe done better. <laughs> I'll take second. Oh, uh, God. Yeah, I lost. Uh, I lost first. Them's the brakes. Way to go. You're getting to be a regular on the podium. All right, and that's the Super Cup challenge uh, done. Move on to the next, the next series now. We can do the focus, the limo bowling, or the open wheel legends. Oh. Let's, let's do the, the history of rivalries. 
Hunt versus Lauda, Prost versus Senna, McLaren versus Ferrari. A proper rivalry gets your blood pumping, pushes you to improve. Pro rally driver Ken Block has dropped by the track to be your rival. Now here's your chance to challenge yourself against a racing pro. Oh. What helped me get to the level I wanted to get was the passion. I thought about it every day. I wanted to be in the car every day. I practiced and, and got to the level that I got to because that passion was there for me to do what I wanted to do. And I wasn't going to stop until I got to the level I wanted to get to. Okay then, thanks. Thanks for that word of advice. Is that even advice? This car is pretty fancy, holy shit. course extremely fast car uh, yeah all right fancy car let's go Take a demanding lead here. Sharp turn coming up. Braking, braking, because I don't know where it is. Gear down. Oh, I have raced this course before. I recognize that turn. And I think I did this in a trophy truck, and it was a crapshoot. Where's my e-brake? <laughs> Oops. Gotta watch out for these. Holy cow! This thing is super fast. And not very good at slowing down. There's my e brake. Okay. Let's try that again. Thank you. 
I know nothing about drifting. Uh, let alone e-brake uh, drifting, but... Urgh. Somehow I, I did that. That was a thing. <laughs> I may try that again. Uh... I'm gonna try that again in my in my free time here, because uh, I think I can do that better. And uh, I think drifting is going to be something that I'm gonna have to learn how to do. It just is. I wonder if that's it for that. I have no idea what's coming next. That was it. I got that car. Sweet. Well, all right Promising then. Promising Grand Prix drivers died young because of these light, single-seat speed machines from the 60s. But despite the danger, adrenaline junkies flocked to these legendary cars. I think that's my car. Uh, well, maybe not. The top speed is up there, but the acceleration is kind of lacking. Speed is not great on that one. I think the Honda. We're gonna give it a sick paint job. Ooh, the shark one looks pretty cool. Ooh, a sneaker one. I like the Coca-Cola one as well, but they're not paying me, so I'm going with the shark one. I don't have enough credits. <laughs> All that and I don't have enough credits. Ah, uh, that's depressing. Okay. Try this again. Car bowling is proof a car can make anything better. Instead of rolling a ball down a lane to hit some pins, you'll be the ball racing a knockdown pin set up for you along the track. It's a perfect way to practice drifting and sliding. Now, bowling with a car is something I'm pretty good at for two reasons. Number one, I've done a lot of dumb stuff in a car in my life. Number two, I took bowling as a class in college. The whole idea is just like when you see a professional bowler, it's all about the spin. You've got to get in there and you got to make that car as wide as possible. Think about it from a style point, but also the harder you hit that pin, the harder it hits other pins. This is where the drifting is going to come in handy. In a limo. Is this at least the Cadillac STS? Or what is it, CT? I don't, I don't know. The, the fast one? Sounds like it. But it's not.
like how the pins are just sitting right on the roof like that. Oh, I duffed it. This thing is slow. Screwed that one up. I have no idea if I did good or bad. It didn't seem that great. I got the points that I needed, so I'd say, uh, success? I think, uh, it could be a lot of fun if I had a little bit faster car. I need to, I needed to be able to get the ass end out a little bit, and it just wasn't happening because I, I didn't feel I was going fast enough. car that's going towards my collection all right so uh, I need to do a little bit more um, a little bit more racing in order to uh, acquire enough money for this uh, crazy race car uh, this uh, open wheel car this cart if you will about what is that? Two, two nineteen, something, something around there. Shouldn't take me too long. It's about, uh, about ten races, really. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that in my time. I'm gonna come back. We're gonna buy one of these cars. I'm gonna ponder it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment in the description or under the description of this video, and uh, give me your vote on what car you think I should get. Should it be the Brabham, the Eagle Westlake, the Ferrari, the Honda, which is what I was going to go with, the Lotus, or the McLaren? Take a look at the stats and let me know what you think. We're going to call this the end of uh, another successful uh, first look uh, video of Forza 7. Again, this was part four. Uh, please join me as I uh, continue on with this series. Um, I'm having a lot of fun doing it, and uh, I hope you are too. So give me a like if you like it. Give me a dislike if you don't. Please subscribe. Have a good day.